Why is there such emphasis on teaching categories? Because categorization highlights relationships between objects and is fundamental in language, prediction, inference, and decision making. On these extensive category practice cards, there are eight colorful photos on one side, and then on the reverse, you get five directives, which ask the students to name or point to items that belong in each of the categories listed. This is perfect for expressive or receptive language practice, since the student can verbally respond to or alternatively point to the selected objects. For example, on this card, the students will be asked to point to or name things that are orange. So when they see the photos, they would point to a basketball, carrots, orange, a goldfish, and a donut. Next, they will be asked to point to or name things that you can eat. Now, they would point to the carrots, the orange, the cookies, and the donut. And this would continue with the next three prompts with this card. Here is another example of a card in this, found in this deck. There are eight photos on one side, and on the reverse are the five directives. In addition, there are alternative directions located at the bottom of each card, asking the student to formulate category labels, which is convergent naming, um, that can also be used in subsequent sessions. These cards are an invaluable resource for speech-language pathologists needing quick pictures of multiple categories all in one place. Answers may vary, and students may need to explain or rationalize their answers, which fosters critical thinking skills.